Hey everyone, it's me, Selena, and today I am here to show you a program from my very favorite program area, which is, can you guess? Sports and games. So today we're gonna be playing a minute to win it game. Now, my space today is a little bit limited. I've had to do some adapting, but this activity is perfect for that because all you really need is a table or a flat surface and a timer. And you can use you can use your Google Home, you can use Alexa, you can use your phone, you can use a watch, anything that has the ability to count to a minute. You can use your sister, you can use your mom. <laughs> um, so yeah, th those are like the two main materials that you need for all four activities. We're gonna be doing four separate activities within this like overall challenge. And the activities within this challenge, they're all pretty adaptable. If you don't have the materials, you can find something different. Um, I'll give you some suggestions. So the very first one is called toilet roll toss. And I'm gonna give you a list of the materials first and then I'll show you how the, each activity works. So for toilet roll toss, you'll need some toilet paper. I'm gonna use six, but you can use more or less, however many you have. You're also gonna need some ping pong balls. I'm gonna use two, but I suggest that you use more. Okay, so this is what your toilet paper rolls should look like once you have them set up on your table, or in my case, on my desk. And you're gonna wanna take your balls and you're gonna slightly toss them at your toilet paper rolls. And your objective is to get them into the holes. So don't throw it hard, just throw it really soft. There we go. So your next step is going to be to set a one minute timer. And once the timer starts, you're gonna start tossing your ball at your toilet paper rolls. I just got one in. <laughs> and you have to try to get as many as you can into the toilet paper rolls before your one minute is up. So you might need someone to help you if you get them in the holes, that person might need to help you take them back out of the rolls because I thought that my ping pong ball would kind of rest on top of the rolls, but turns out it's actually small enough to fit right into the hole. So it's more of a game of golf, <laughs> but that's okay. You just need someone to help you get them out quick because the objective is to get as many as you can in the hole. Once you've played the game, maybe you can share your score in the comments below and see if you beat any of your friends. The second game is called Flip Race. And these are the materials you need for that one. Some painter's tape or masking tape works too, just any tape that won't damage your table. You'll also need some sort of figurine or toy. I have this Tigger stuffy. I think he's really cute and I think he'll work perfectly for this game. Look at how cute he is and his little nose. And last but not least, you also need a coin. Any coin works as long as it has two sides. Okay, so you're gonna take your painter's tape and you're gonna start making multiple lines on your table. Start with one kind of close to the edge and then make another line, leave some space in between. Okay, so I got five lines on my desk. So next, you're gonna take your little toy or figurine, you're gonna take Tigger, and you're gonna place it behind the first line. So all the way at the end here. And now you're gonna take your coin, and you're gonna decide which side of the coin is your lucky side. So either heads, which is the side with the queen on it, or tails, which in my case, this is a loony, so there's a loon on it. I'm gonna pick the loon side. So with this game, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, again, set a one minute timer. You have one minute to complete this. If you need more than a minute, you can make this a two minute challenge. You can adapt any of these rules. None of this, none of these are actually rules. They're just suggestions. So you can do whatever you want with this game. You can add more time, less time. You can, you know, put more lines on the table. You can put less lines on the table. Do whatever you want. All right, so my lucky side is gonna be the loon. So every time that I flip the coin and it lands on the loon, I get to advance Tigger a space. 
and my goal is to get all the way to the end before the minute ends. So you gotta flip your coin quick. Another option, if you don't have a coin, you can also use Siri or Alexa or Google. If you ask them to flip a coin, then they'll tell you which side it lands on. But still make sure you pick a lucky side. So I'm gonna start flipping. Okay, there we go. I don't know if that was a minute. I actually didn't set a timer. <laughs> but ideally, I would have set a timer. But I made it all the way to the end. If you find that you're making it to the end too quickly, you can always add more lines. If you find that you can't make it to the end in time, you can take away some lines. The third one is called Marshmallow Race. And here is the materials for that. The most important material is marshmallows. These are my marshmallows. The bag's already open. I might have eaten a few. You'll also need some toothpicks. I'm using toothpicks, but you can also use a straw, a chopstick, a skewer, or even a fork could work. So figure out whatever works best for you. And last but not least, you're going to need two bowls. Pick some bowls that are around the same size. You'll need your two bowls. I chose glass bowls just so you guys can see what's going on a little bit better. But maybe pick a different kind of bowl if you don't want to break things. So I'm going to take my marshmallows and I'm going to pour them all into one bowl. Alright, there's my marshmallows. You can also use giant marshmallows or you can use the mini marshmallows if you want if you want it to be more challenging but i just picked these marshmallows next you'll need your toothpick right here you can also use a straw or a skewer or a chopstick whatever you can find and again set a one minute timer and as fast as you can transfer marshmallows over <laughs> into the other bowl <laughs> But only use the only use your toothpick. All right, I think you get the point. Just do it as quickly as you can. Maybe you'll get all of them over. Maybe you won't. If you want an added challenge for the marshmallow race, you can also blindfold yourself. Not with marshmallows, <laughs> but with I don't know, some sort of headband, towel, whatever. Cover your eyes so you can't see the marshmallows and then try the challenge again. I'm gonna eat a marshmallow. It's delicious. <laughs> and last but not least, the very last challenge is called bottle to bottle. And here are the materials that you'll need. First, you'll need not one bottle, but two bottles. Pick two bottles with the same size opening and that are around the same size. You'll also need some duct tape, which you'll be using to tape your two bottles together at the opening. You'll understand what I mean later. And you're going to need some sort of little object that you can put into one of your bottles because you're going to be transferring it from one to the other. So make sure it's small enough to fit through the opening. I'm going to use Cheerios. For our very last challenge, you're going to need your two bottles. This one requ might require a bit of assistance from whoever's around. Um, it's a little tricky to set up, but once you get going, it'll be really fun. So, you'll need- I can actually show you this one here. You'll need the two bottles. Take the lid off of both of them. It works better if the bottles are identical and they have the same opening because you're going to be sticking them together like this. It's going to be kind of like an hourglass. Alright, so your two bottles. I am using Cheerios to put into my bottle. So you can also use, if you have a bigger opening, um, you just want to make sure you pick something that'll fit through the opening and that won't get like super stuck. So I suggested uh, chocolate chips, M&Ms, um, like little beads, or anything you really find around your house. Maybe rice could work if you 
yeah, just anything that'll fit into the bottles that you can shake out of the bottles. You'll understand once you see me demonstrate what I'm doing with the Cheerios, and you can adapt accordingly, depending on what you have in your house. All right, so I'm gonna take my Cheerios and I'm gonna pour them into one of my bottles. Okay, so I filled my one bottle about halfway with Cheerios. The other one's still empty. So now you might need some help with this, like I said before. So you're gonna take your duct tape and you're going to tape the two bottles together by the openings. Okay, so once your bottles are secured together with the duct tape, your challenge this time is going to be to shake your Cheerios or whatever you used from one side to the other in less than a minute. So set your one minute timer and start shaking it to the other side. Alright, there we go. They're all on the other side now. If you did that too quick, you can always add more to this bottle. Just undo the tape and add more. If it took you longer than a minute, you can take some out. Just adapt it however, however it makes sense for you. All right, so that's all four activities within today's challenge. Hopefully you get a chance to play them. Also, if you wanna play more, if four just isn't enough, you can go online, go on Google and search minute to win it games and you'll get a whole list of different ones. Some of them are a little bit trickier than others, but you can just pick and choose whichever ones work best, whichever ones seem fun to you and play them. And if you wanna leave suggestions in the chat below, please do so. So if anyone watching this goes, wow, I really wanna play more, they can go look in the chat and see, or not in the chat, in the comments is what I meant. You know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully you had lots of fun. I know I had lots of fun thinking of these games and also demonstrating them for you. And yeah, all I can say is have fun. I hope you enjoy. Please share anything you'd like in the comments below. If you, if one particular game looks more fun than the other, let us know. And of course, as always, if you wanna share pictures or videos with us uh, of you playing this game or doing this activity, you can email them to pinecabinetandeasterseals.org or you can share them with Natalie on the uh, Easter Seals Facebook pages, the Marywood one or the Wood Eden one, and we can share them with all of our friends on Facebook. Uh, yeah, we'd obviously love to see if you play these games and if you have fun doing so. So thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.